Good afternoon. Our first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader this afternoon is Father Christopher Heenan, the parish priest at St Margaret's Memorial Church in Dunfermline. Father Heenan. Presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you for this opportunity to address you today. Many visitors come to Dunfermline and we're pleased to welcome those who come to visit our beautiful church and the shrine of St Margaret of Scotland. One group that visited recently particularly stands out. They were a group of over 50 Indian children and their leaders. Their origins lie in Kerala in India, but they all live now in and around Edinburgh. They belong to the Cyril Malabar Church, one of the Eastern Rites of the Catholic Church. They celebrated mass and prayed in their own language according to their own rituals. And after a break for lunch, I led them round the places associated with St. Margaret in Dunfermline. I was impressed with how they preserve their own culture, but with how open and eager they are to learn more of the culture and the history of Scotland. At the end of the tour, I was highly impressed with how the young people had soaked up so much and answered every question posed to them. Even though she died over 900 years ago, Margaret has much to offer Scotland still. She came as an exile to this land, fleeing political unrest, and she found a welcome and a home. She worked to further education, to alleviate poverty where she found it. She worked to reform the church. She encouraged merchants to trade. Perhaps her hardest task was to improve the manners of her husband and of the Scottish court. Her love of God and her spirit of prayer flowed into her life and found expression in her love of her husband and family, her love of her adopted country, and her care for those in greatest need. Margaret cared for the spiritual and the material welfare of her countrymen. She shows the value of being able to welcome those from different backgrounds and cultures and to learn from them and benefit from their gifts and talents. She embodies love and compassion, care and concern with a strength of spirit and personality that changed those around her for the better. Among St. Margaret's treasured possessions was a relic of the true cross, the Holy Rood or the Black Rood of Scotland. So as we gather in Holy Rood, we can all learn much from her example as we seek to build an open, welcoming, just and compassionate society. Thank you.